George Joseph Stigler, January 17, 1911 to December 1, 1991, was an American economist, the 1982 laureate in Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences and a key leader of the Chicago School of Economics. Topic: Early life and education. Stigler was born in Seattle, Washington, the son of Elsie Elizabeth Hungler and Joseph Stigler. He was of German descent and spoke German in his childhood. He graduated from the University of Washington in 1931 with a B.A. and then spent a year at Northwestern University from which he obtained his MBA in 1932. It was during his studies at Northwestern that Stigler developed an interest in economics and decided on an academic career. Topic. Career After he received a tuition scholarship from the University of Chicago, Stigler enrolled there in 1933 to study economics and went on to earn his Ph.D. in economics there in 1938. He taught at Iowa State College from 1936 to 1938. He spent much of World War II at Columbia University, performing mathematical and statistical research for the Manhattan Project. He then spent one year at Brown University. He served on the Columbia faculty from 1947 to 1958. At Chicago, he was greatly influenced by Frank Knight, his dissertation supervisor. Milton Friedman, a friend for over 60 years, commented that it was remarkable for Stigler to have passed his dissertation under Knight, as only three or four students had ever managed to do so in Knight's 28 years at Chicago. Stigler's influences included Jacob Viner and Henry Simons as well as students W. Allen Wallace and Friedman. Stigler is best known for developing the economic theory of regulation, also known as capture, which says that interest groups and other political participants will use the regulatory and coercive powers of government to shape laws and regulations in a way that is beneficial to them. This theory is a component of the public choice field of economics but is also deeply opposed by public choice scholars belonging to the Virginia School, such as Charles Rowley. He also carried out extensive research in the history of economic thought. Stigler's most important contribution to economics was published in his landmark article, The Economics of Information. According to Friedman, Stigler essentially created a new area of study for economists. Stigler stressed the importance of information. One should hardly have to tell academicians that information is a valuable resource, knowledge is power. And yet it occupies a slum dwelling in the town of economics. His 1962 article, Information in the Labor Market, developed the theory of search unemployment. In 1963, he was elected as a fellow of the American Statistical Association. He was known for his sharp sense of humor, and he wrote a number of spoof essays. In his book The Intellectual and the Marketplace, for instance, he proposed Stigler's law of demand and supply elasticities. All demand curves are inelastic and all supply curves are inelastic too. The essay referenced studies that found many goods and services to be inelastic over the long run and offered a supposed theoretical proof. He ended by announcing that his next essay would demonstrate that the price system does not exist. Another essay, A Sketch on the Truth in Teaching described the consequences of a fictional set of court decisions that held universities legally responsible for the consequences of teaching errors. The Stigler Diet is also named after him. Stigler wrote numerous articles on the history of economics, published in the leading journals and republished 14 of them in 1965. The American Economic Review said, Many of these essays have become such well-known landmarks that no scholar in this field should be unfamiliar with them. The lucid prose, penetrating logic, and wry humor have become the author's trademarks." However, economist Deirdre McCloskey later referred to Stigler as, "...among the worst historians of economic thought in the history of the discipline," who "...read a lot but was defective in paying attention." Stigler was a founding member of the Mont Pelerin Society and was its president from 1976 to 1978. He received National Medal of Science in 1987. Topic: Bibliography. 1941-1994. Production and Distribution Theories: The Formative Period. 
New York, Macmillan. Preview 1961. The Economics of Information. Journal of Political Economy, 69, 3, pp. 213-25. 1962A. Information in the Labor Market. Journal of Political Economy, 70, 5, Part 2, pp. 94-105. 1962B. The Intellectual and the Marketplace. Selected Papers, No. 3. Chicago, University of Chicago Graduate School of Business. Reprinted in Sigler, 1986, pp. 79-88. 1963, with Paul Samuelson. A Dialogue on the Proper Economic Role of the State. Selected Papers, No. 7. pp. 3-20. Chicago, University of Chicago Graduate School of Business. 1963. Capital and Rates of Return in Manufacturing Industries. National Bureau of Economic Research, Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press. 1965. Essays in the History of Economics. University of Chicago Press, 1965. 1968. The Organization of Industry. Homewood, Ill., Richard D. Irwin. 1970, with J.K. Kindall, The Behavior of Industrial Prices. National Bureau of Economic Research, New York, Columbia University Press. 1971. The Theory of Economic Regulation. Bell Journal of Economics and Management Science, No. 3, pp. 3-18. 1975. Citizen and the State, Essays on Regulation. 1982. The Process and Progress of Economics. Nobel Memorial Lecture, 8 December with Bibliography 1982. The Economist as Preacher, and Other Essays. Chicago, University of Chicago Press 1983, The Organization of Industry 1985. Memoirs of an Unregulated Economist. University of Chicago Press. 2003. ISBN 978-0-226-77440-4. Autobiography 1986. The Essence of Stigler, K. R. Lube and T. G. Moore, ed. Scroll or page arrow to respective essays. ISBN 0-8179-8462-3. 1987. The Theory of Price, 4th edition. New York, Macmillan. 1988, ed. Chicago Studies in Political Economy. Topic. See also Stephen Stigler, his son Regulatory capture Topic. Notes Topic. References Diamond, Arthur M., Jr. 2005. Measurement, Incentives, and Constraints in Stigler's Economics of Science. The European Journal of the History of Economic Thought 12, No. 4637-63. Friedman, Craig 2003. Do Great Economists Make Great Teachers? George Stigler as a Dissertation Supervisor. Journal of Economic Education, 34, 3, pp. 282-90. Friedman, Milton 1993. George Stigler, A Personal Reminiscence. Journal of Political Economy 101 5 pp. 768-73. Blank, 1998. George J. Stigler, 1911-1991. A Biographical Memoir. Hammond, J. Daniel, and Claire H. Hammond, ed. 2006. Making Chicago Price Theory, Friedman Stigler Correspondence, 1945 1957. Routledge. 165 pp. ISBN 0 415 70078 7. Levy, David M., and Sandra J. Pert, 2008. Stigler, George Joseph. 1911 1991. The New Palgrave Dictionary of Economics, 2nd edition. Abstract. Palda, Philip. 2016. A Better Kind of Violence, Chicago Political Economy, Public Choice, and the Quest for an Ultimate Theory of Power. Cooper Wolfling Publishers. ISBN 978-0-9877880-7-8.
Steelman, Aaron. 2008. Stigler, George J. 1911 to 1991. In Hamowy, Ronald. The Encyclopedia of Libertarianism. The Encyclopedia of Libertarianism. Thousand Oaks, CA: Sage, Cato Institute. pp. 492 to 93. DOI: 10.4135/9781412965811/n299. ISBN 9781412965804. LCCN 2008,009,151. OCLC 750,831,024. The New Palgrave, A Dictionary of Economics, 1987. Stigler, George Joseph, by Peter Newman, v. 4, p. 498. Stigler as an Historian of Economic Thought, by Thomas Sowell, v. 4, pp. 498–99. Stigler's Contribution to Microeconomics and Industrial Organization", by Richard Schmollen C. v. 4, pp. 499–500. External links George J. Stigler 1911 the Concise Encyclopedia of Economics. Library of Economics and Liberty 2nd ed. Liberty Fund, 2008. George Stigler's Seminal Studies of Industrial Structures, Functioning of Markets and Causes and Effects of Public Regulation. George Stigler. JSTOR.